Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm diving into something that's super interesting and kind of underappreciated. The secret world of goldfish behavior. Now I know what you're thinking. What in the world would goldfish possibly do that's so fascinating? Trust me, after this video you'll look at your little aquatic buddies in a whole new light. All right, so before we jump into the de depths of their behaviors, let's take a quick moment to appreciate how beautiful these little guys can be. Just look at them. Okay, first off, let's get to some basic facts out of the way. Did you know goldfish can grow up to be over a foot long and can live for decades with right care? So, if you think these little pebbly friends are just a short term pet, think again. They are basically the long lasting friendship you never knew you needed. They last more than my friends. They can actually recognize their owners and even learn tricks which is honestly mind blowing. So, let's see what these little guys can tell us through their behaviors. Okay, let's get into it. One of the first things I noticed about my goldfish when I brought them home is their swimming pattern. Ever seen them darting around like the little race car in the tank? Fast movements like that can mean they are playful but they can also indicate stress. So if your goldfish is darting around, it might be excited to see you or it might not be happy with the water quality. Make sure you check those param parameters, my friend. Check if your goldfish does this regularly even when you are not present as this can indicate stress or if it's only when you are there and for short periods of time it may indicate that they are excited to see you. And if you see them swim nearly at the near the bottom of the tank that usually means they are relaxing or they have had enough of all that hustle and bustle going on. Now let's talk about bubble blowing and no I'm not talking about kind of funky fish disco. When goldfish hang out near the surface blowing bubbles they are usually not just trying to impress you they could actually be looking for oxygen. So a good oxygen level is a must. However, if they are constantly floating at the top or gulping air, it's a sign you need to look at the aeration and water quality because they might be struggling. Okay, now color changes and their meanings. Next up, let's talk about the colors of our fin friends. Did you know that goldfish can actually change color? If your goldfish doubts are a little dull, it could signal stress or illness or like it could be a color pattern. But if they are brilliantly vibrant, it but shows they are healthy and happy. So like any good relationship, the brighter the color, the better the vibes. Okay, now, now let's take a moment to talk about aggression. Yes, I said aggression. Some goldfish can get a little territorial. If you notice fin nipping or aggressive behaviors towards another fish, it might think about your tank mate. Not every fish will coexist peacefully. Make sure to keep an eye on those dynamics. If you have just one goldfish, they can get lonely, so consider getting them a bud. Yes, these guys are social creatures, but always do your research first. Remember, always keep goldfish with goldfish and not any other fish. Here's something I find super adorable goldfish personalities. Yep, just like us. Some are super curious and love to explore their environment while others are more laid back. I have one that's always coming to the front of the tank when I walk by. Definitely my little diva. While the other one and he the, the, and he also comes to my hand and feeds. But the other one doesn't really come at my hand. He doesn't really dance as much as the other one. But I love them both. Their personality is so sweet that that's the reason I even came into goldfish keeping. It's because of their personalities. Get it? Fish with personalities. So cool, right? Speaking of personalities, it's essential to keep our fishy friends entertained. On board, goldfish are happy fi goldfish. So adding plants, decorations, or even mirrors can provide mental stimulation. I mean, who wouldn't want a little aquatic playground? Now let's dive into feeding behavior. Goldfish are like toddlers. They get super excited when it's chow time. If your goldfish starts swimming 
erratically flashing their tails while you're feeding them. They might be telling you that they are hungry and impatient, but remember, goldfish will, may all, always look hungry and thus that doesn't mean you have to feed them all the time, okay? Because they don't have a stomach and all that goes right through them in an instant. So they may look hungry, but they're perfectly fine, okay? Feed them one to two times a day, that's enough. When feeding, you want to have a variety. A good mix helps maintain proper nutrition and keep those colors popping. Just don't overfeed, you wouldn't want to invite a few problems into tank cleanliness. I made a whole other video about tank, uh, I mean diet, about goldfish, and, and it's the top right hand corner. Go check it out. The i button. Goldfish are social creatures. If you've never seen them interact, trust me, it's priceless. They'll often swim alongside each other as you see mine doing right here and it's almost like they're playing tag. If you notice one fish consistently solo, it could mean they're feeling shy or unwell. Now let's talk about what they do when they swim, in quick, they swim quickly to the top. Sudden dashes to the water surface can attribute to various factors while excitement during feeding time is a common cause. Frequent or frantic surface swimming may indicate water quality issues, low oxygen levels or the presence of toxins. Ensuring proper filtration, regular water changes and maintaining optimal oxygenation are crucial to prevent such behaviors. Observing the frequency and context of this behavior can help identify underlying issues and guide appropriate corrective actions. Behavioral signs of sickness is next. Behavioral changes often serve as early indicators of illness in goldfish. Signs such as clamped fins, erratic swimming, loss of appetite, color change, lethargicness, or isolation from other fish may be health sign signal health issues. Potential causes indicate bacterial infections, parasitic infestations, or environmental stresses. Prompt identification and treatment are vital to prevent disease progression. Quarantining affected fish, consulting aquatic veterinarians, and maintaining optimal water conditions are essential steps in managing and preventing illness. Okay, now let's talk about why goldfish hide. Goldfish may seek a refuge in tank decorations, plants, or corners, exhibiting hiding behavior while occasionally hiding is normal. Persistent hiding can indicate stress, fear, or health problems. Factors such as bullying by tank mates, sudden environmental changes, or poor water quality can contribute to this behavior. To encourage confidence, provide a well-decorated tank with good water conditions. Okay, now let's talk about foraging behavior. In their natural habitats, goldfish spend a significant portion of their time foraging for food. This behavior involves digging into the substrate, nibbling on plants, and exploring the environment for edible items. In captivity, replicating this natural behavior is vital for their mental stimulation and physical health. Providing a varied diet that includes high-quality flakes, pellets, and occasional trees like brine shrimp and blood worms can keep goldfish engaged. Having live plants not only enhances the tank's aesthetic appeal but also offers additional foraging opportunities. However, it's essential to monitor water plant consumption to ensure a balanced diet and prevent overfeeding. Chasing behavior is signs of either mating or aggression so make sure you check that out. Okay. Next, hovering at the surface. When goldfish consistently hover near the water's surface, it may indicate underlying issues. One common cause is oxygen deficiency, especially in tanks with inadequate aeration or poor water quality. This can happen. Goldfish gasping at the surface might also be a sign of health issues like gill parasites, etc. To address this behavior, ensure proper filtration, maintaining, op maintaining optimal water parameters, and consider adding air stones or enhanced oxygenation okay no not do not consider just do it okay regular water testing and maintenance are crucial to prevent such issues and promote a healthy environment okay i hope you guys found this today's video exciting and informative if not tell me if yes tell me too 
I would like to know any complaints and uh, additions and what you think I might have missed. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Best Goldfish Living. Bye bye. Say bye to Cleo and Casper.